Has anybody else seen this before, by the way? If you've taken chemistry, you sure have. If I remove that pressure, what's gonna happen to that? The air in that balloon can start to get larger and larger. But John F. Kennedy High School science teacher Stephen Rounds knows all too well Think it's gonna be loud? how quickly these experiments can lose air and a grip on students' attention, especially when you can't repeat it or apply it at home. We're really trying to set that spark. Ah, go to it. A spark we've all lit, turning on the oven, stove, or microwave. We just usually call it cooking, not combustion, convection, or radiation. You are going to now start working on directly applying what your concept is to what it is you're cooking. Yes, cooking. What do you guys make? Cake and coffee. I like coffee. We're going to cook brownies and cupcakes. A chemistry take on home economics with a television twist. How are you going to demonstrate freezing point? That's specifically where I'm curious. They'll show and tell the science behind whatever it is they want to cook. Let's be creative. With a cooking show. Because we like, think we know what we want to cook, like cake and coffee, but we don't know like exactly what concepts. See, that's the key to this project. Not the show, but the chemistry within that cooking. It's trying to apply it more to their life and that idea that by applying it to something that we're familiar with, we can start to explain the world around us. Explanation and justify it. that needs more detail than just add water. I think it feeds that lifelong learning. You can justify it in your cooking, you're good. I can answer questions I have. I'm not always dependent on somebody else giving me that answer. It's creativity with chemistry, something fostered by new academic standards in Denver Public Schools, according to Chief Schools Officer Susanna Cordova. Standards are just standards. They're not the curriculum, they're not the daily lessons. They really do give teachers the opportunity to think about what do I want kids to know and be able to do. Do you have a chemical change? Yeah, we do. Okay, where? When the batter and the eggs and the water and the oil mix all together. Hands-on application piece, the creativity, um, the higher level thinking, I think is part of what's really exciting about it and even more exciting. It gives us freedom. I think it actually is really helpful. I'm just a hands-on learner, so like it helps if I can actually get down and do the project. Because we actually get to figure out like what chemistry actually is instead of just like we figure out what water does, but if we figure out how to do it with food, it helps us to understand it more. A few weeks later, the chemistry concepts are still there in their cooking shows. So is the best part of chemistry class. It transfers its energy to the eggs. Seeing the science, in the lab, and now at home. It's creating that spark and that love for science or interest in science, that desire to explore that field. And if they don't go that way, that's okay, but I think it's still part of our daily lives. For DPS Features, I'm Ben McKee.